Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. As you can see, today I'm going to be planning in my dashboard planner, which I use for social media, for August 16th through the 22nd. And the challenge theme that I'm going to go with is Head of the Class. This is from the 2021 Planner Collab. Um, and head of the class, I, I was thinking about how to interpret that. Like, is the teacher the head of the class? Or are you, like, the valedictorian and so you're the best student in the class, head of the class? Either way, it came to school stuff. So, I'm going to do a school-themed spread. Not really back to school, but um, I'm going to... I chose to go with the teacher angle on this, and here's why. I have all these teacher sticker books, and I feel like... Um, I can teach you guys through my videos, so I'm going to have fun with the teacher theme. So these are dot grid pages from Lights Planner Action. I will link her in the description box. She does, normally, she does, um, these are unpunched. You punch them yourself when you get them. Um, and she does blackout, you can order blackout versions of all of the stuff on her website one week a month. Um, I think it used to be the first week of the month, but in um, August she's doing the last week of the month and she's doing it in conjunction with a sale. So I'm going to be ordering some more stuff. It does take about a month for these to get to you. Um, I looked and looked and looked on Amazon. I tried ordering several dot grid notepads and they were all just, to be quite honest, crappy um, quality. They were white paper that was printed black and it was stripy and um, it had a white core down the edge and 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 so these are a little bit more expensive but you guys this paper is so thick I think she said um, in one of her Instagram stories that she uses 32 pound paper I mean it is thick I would say it not not too thick it's not cardstock don't get me wrong but it's it's good quality paper and the cool 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 thing about dot grid is no measuring, no measuring. So um, I am going to take a white jelly roll, nice fat one. Um, that's a 0.8. I know I have this one. I know I have a one, which is fatter. Yeah, here we go. And I'm going to grab a ruler and I'm going to very carefully draw in um, both sides. So, and here's how, here's the super cool thing about dot grid. You just pick the row of dots that are in closest to the right spot. So like this row of dots almost lines up with the center. Um, I got to remember that. So I think first thing I'll do is, and then you can count, like you don't have to measure. So these rows of dots are just a teensy bit narrower than these lines. So when I'm in between two dots, I'm going to go toward the center of the page. So this row of dots right here, the one, two, three, fourth row down is right in line with this top row. So I'm going to start the fourth row down and I'm just going to draw the same width. So if I start fourth row down and then about this row in. So if I go, let's turn it this way. Okay, so I'm going to, like I said, fourth row of dots down, and then this row of dots is closest to that line, and this row of dots is closest to the end of that line. So one, two, three, four, if I start, I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to, you guys can see what I'm doing. Right there. Pick this straight up if you can. I need to slide it off the edge of my desk. I know that's off camera so that I can grab it and pick it straight up. Have a box of Kleenexes handy so that you can wipe the edge after every line that you make. Trust me, it's worth it. You'll smear a lot less. Okay, let's do the bottom row too. Actually, no, we're not gonna do the bottom row yet and here's why. Because I have to count these and I already counted 10 rows is the right spacing. 10 rows of dots. So I'm going to go ahead and draw these in at 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See, I'm a little bit up. That's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in my 8, my 4, the rest of my lines. <laughs> 
I hit my thumb. The perils of having long fingernails. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna grab an eraser because sometimes white gel pen erases really nicely off of black paper and we'll see if we can get rid of that little that little bloop. But you can see, so the spacing isn't exact, but oh my gosh, it's it's pretty darn close. Definitely close enough. There we go. Done and done. Fixed it. Okay, so while that's drying, let's come over here and draw in some of this one. So same thing, I think I'm going to come about one, two, three, four lines down. Four rows of dots down, yep. And the same left to right spacing. Okay, so this one's dry. Let's draw our center line in. The light pressure works best when you're using a gel pen. And just like that, I have my grid. And then for this side, I can just draw right in my letters backwards up to the top and have the leftover gap that it leaves. So actually, I'm going to use the finer pen for this so that they don't look all blobby. Let's let that one dry for a bit and come over here. I'm going to skip the first two rows because I want to leave a nice wide space for a sticker. Let's just pick the stickers first. So I pulled the teacher florals book and I pulled, I want to make part of this look like a chalkboard, right? So I'm going to go around the edge with this wood grain, one of these two wood grain washies. I'm thinking the pink with rose gold and here's why. I can use the pinky peachy florals in this sticker book and it'll look nice, it'll match nice with this washi. So, and then I can use these, um, I'm thinking I want to use these, where'd they go? These, the ones that say assignment and whatnot, as my stat boxes, that'll be kind of fun. So, if I look for, okay, there's, that's the wrong I want, where's the other, are there not, is there not a matching page in the other color? That, that's not cool. Is my book missing a page, you guys? Where's the um, equivalent pink page with all the Remember stickers? They all say the same thing, though. I hate that. Like, give me two, uh, just give me two choices at least, not just one. These are all clear. I think I'm probably going to need mostly paper. Okay, there's some important. Again, though, not the pink. Okay, that says assignment. That would be fun. I can use that. But I still want something... They both say assignment, right? So... Weekend plans. That's fun. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead... While I, cu while I come across these stickers and find them, I'm going to go ahead and just put them on. So, I have a nice... Since the way the spacing worked out, I do have a nice wide space for weekend plans on here. That's kind of cool. Okay, here's some more plan on it. Huh, I don't know. I don't, that's so weird that I don't have like that matching sticker. This page. It'd be nice if I did because then I could use a remember and a plan on it. I guess I'll just use two plan on it and I will know that one of them is for. One is for filming and one is for ideas. Would it look odd if I put assignment over here and plan on it over there? Or important? I guess I could use an important and a plan on it. Is there a remember that I could get away with using? I could probably use a, like a, a, a green one because the hot pink florals, the pinkier florals have greens, yeah. So let's just steal a remember. So what I think I'll do is draw, is just draw my own squares here as my check boxes. I don't like it. Um, while it's still wet, I'm going to blot up as much of it as I can. 
don't panic. I didn't ruin it. Just remember how easy that erased on the other side. Plus, just like you can use a, a white gel pen as white out on a white piece of paper, you can use black pen as the opposite of white out, black out, I guess, on a black piece of paper. But I don't like how narrow these lines are. So what I'm gonna do is draw the box in the middle of two lines, I think. It's not the last week in the month, so I don't need a ton of boxes. I want to go ahead, I'm just kind of, I know I'm skipping all around, like I haven't put an August on there yet or anything. Let's go ahead and put in the boxes that I wanted to use as my, the quote unquote assignment boxes. Here we go. I'm just, you know, it's kind of helping me to set the color scheme too, you know, so. I'm just gonna put these way, way. I should probably, you know what? I should probably put my days of the week in first. And I can write them in. I might write them in. I'm kind of all over the place because um, not clearly knowing for sure the color scheme. So let's go ahead. I definitely wanna go ahead and put some of this washi tape on to make this look like the frame of a chalkboard. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and put some washi tape down to help me set my color scheme a little bit more. So I'm going to do uh, the 45 degree angle rip. Oops. Okay, there we go. I <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Um, and we'll do this one. It just kind of ripped on its own. It was like, yep, here, this is good. One side ripped too well and the other side didn't rip well enough. And I'm just kind of lining up with the outermost row of dots to make this look like a frame. So the thing I do need to decide though that I haven't decided yet is do I put my habit trackers inside the box, inside the chalkboard, or outside the chalkboard? You know what I mean? Like, okay. Boy, am I scattered on this one. But I'm really liking it. I mean, that's the good news. I'm liking it. And I did have somewhat of a clear vision. I just didn't work out all the details ahead of time. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the bottom white line for this. And I think I do want to go ahead and um, draw a middle, a middle line too. Oh, and I just smeared it. I didn't let it dry. So now I'm smearing it even more because I can't pick up my ruler. There we go. Let's find some habit trackers that match this color scheme. So I'm using this to help me set my color scheme. These work. These actually, these colors match pretty well. These are from the minimalist sticker book. Okay, so I think I'll do two different shades of pink and a green. So we'll put the green in the middle because this, it's pretty close. Tweezer. Yeah, I think I'll leave the chalkboard outline to be where the decoration is. You know what I mean? So that would make this line, the top of it, so probably about this line as the bottom. Let's go ahead and put our last two habit trackers on there. So I'm gonna use a light one and a dark one. I tell you what, this dot grid paper, you guys, oh my gosh, does it make things easy to line up. Okay, done with habit trackers. Let's finish with our chalkboard outline. So you can see the angle on the washi tape lines up with the next spot where you need to place it most of the time. So you don't have to do new rips every time. I think the problem is because I'm trying to guess on my 45 degree angle on my rips and I'm not getting it right. <laughs> Yeah, look how far off I got that one. Shoot. Okay, that's okay. New piece of washi tape. 
so long as they're somewhat have an angle there, it's going to have that chalkboard feel. There. So there's my chalkboard. I'll put a little decoration, a quote, or something in there. Okie dokie. So let's, coming back over here, I'm wondering actually if I want to put a piece of the chalkboard washi. I think I do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to put a piece of this here and then put my YouTube video sticker on top. Because it'll, yep, it fits just barely. This wood grain washi is simply gilded washi, by the way. I don't know if it's still available because I've had it for a while, but yeah, I like the way that comes across. Okay, so let's look for, let me grab, first thing I'm going to do is grab one of these assignment boxes and just very, very, very lightly put it on here so that I can font, look for days of the week that match my color scheme and make sure that they'll fit. So this is my months, days, and dates book for when I do a spread like this. Not quite. That mustard doesn't fit. Those are nice. Are they too hot pink? I kind of like it. I'm surprised. Okay. So then I need to leave myself room for a number, but that's definitely going to fit. Let's find some numbers. They got to be paper so that they show up on the black. Need to keep this page marked. So further. So those, there's months. There was an August I liked. Also that kind of hot pink red color. Okay. Anyway, I went the wrong direction. I need numbers. I need 16 through 22. Those are none of those. Okay. Here's. I could do this. These are paper. 16. <laughs> Missing those two. <laughs> um, I could do outlines and color them pink. I don't want silver. I already have other colors of foil. I kind of like these cut out ones, you guys. Not the silver. Oh, those are purple foil. Does that match? I already have gold foil and I have rose gold foil. I could use purple foil. I mean, how often am I going to have the chance to use that hot pink foil? I like it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I never have a chance to use hot pink foil. Okay, so Monday is the 16th. So I need a 16. We'll go clear up to the top and grab it. There we go. All right, I'm going to speed this up while I finish filling this in. Dokey, looking great so far. Um, let's see if we can find an August. Since I have the book out, I can always grab my own paper August. Oh yeah, I was going to use this one. I'm tempted, since I will never use these 2019s down here that match, to cut off a 2021 so that it matches. Let's do it. I'm never going to use a 2019. Why shouldn't I? And like for 2022, I won't be able to do this. So I might as well. I mean, they're just going to sit there if I don't use them like this. August 2021. I like it. Okay. Done with this book. So for bullet points, let's see. Do I have enough space? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, it's perfect, you guys. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the round bullet point stencil. Although, hang on, I have, remember the dotting tool, the dotting pen I've been using the last few weeks? I have, I have metallic ones um, and I believe, wrong end. They'll show up on black. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. 
I have, let's see, oh, I have a, I have a reddish one. So this is a little sample pack of paper you get from Lights Planner Action, where I got these, so that you can do exactly this, you can do testers. And I'm actually thinking maybe I want to use the red. I have gold and blue and green. I could do, there's a little green. No, don't like that. Don't like that one. Okay, talk to me, silver or red? I'm thinking silver and here's why. There's a lot of hot pink already on the page and I don't want to overdose on it. So let's go silver. Okay, so I'm just gonna go, let's see. This is gonna be a very short first row, but I kind of need to go in between the rows. So one, two, three, four, five. You can see where if you don't use exactly the same amount of pressure, you get a slightly different diameter dot. And of course there's no bleed through. All right, so I'm gonna finish my dots. Okay, a little crooked there. <laughs> These dotting pins are super cool, but they definitely take some practice. And I actually need six dots on Friday and Sunday, so I think I'm going to squeeze one more in here at the bottom since it's a full length line, whereas that one is super, super short. So there we go. Let me grab, I need to grab my sticker, YouTube video sticker, to put up here. YouTube videos. So I just need to be careful with this throughout the week. Since I'm putting it, putting it on washi tape, it's going to try to lift up a little bit because of the Teflon silicon coating that's on there. Okay. So far so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love it. I think this page is pretty much done other than like a coffee cup or something. Um, for this page, we're getting close. I just want to find some deco or something to put in this chalkboard box now. Teach from the heart. I'm just looking for paper. This is a very functional book. There are not a lot of deco stickers, which is fine. You are doing really great. I like that one. I'm kind of thinking I just need to go ahead and do a couple different square quotes. And I can test putting florals on there. I don't know how well they're going to show up over the over the black paper is the thing. And I don't feel like adding another layer by putting them on white sticker paper. These are all, yep, these are all clear. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to do pink. and green. Today's a good day to have a good day. And pink. And I'm gonna maybe put them, um... no, cause I don't like how much that matches. Okay, I want this one here because of the florals on the, well, know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was kind of thinking three. Boom, boom, boom. Diagonal. But is it going to look odd that those are kind of in a line? All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to skip the green one in the middle because that's the one that's throwing me off. And I'm going to put <coughs> this one up here. And then um, a floor, we'll go ahead and try a floral in the center <clears throat> and just see how well it, sh oh, there's some paper ones, little tiny ones, but, oh, that's pretty. I could do, do the really dark green one. Could I do the really dark green one in the middle? 
Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Really dark green ones going in the middle. And then I am actually going to switch these. And here's why. I don't want the leaves over top of the leaves. So I'm going to switch them. And I'm going to have them overlap a little. I like that. And it's not too matchy-matchy since I switched to a super dark green. So, And then I was thinking I could put a couple of these little guys on there, but I don't think it needs it. So let's see. I think it's done. I think it's done. Yep. Okay, let's put it in my planner. So for the 23rd, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might do another blackout spread. I don't know. So I'm going to keep this page in there just in case I decide to go with the regular old pages. That way I have something to frank and plan on to. For this side though, so this is my current week. And as you can see, I used one of those black dotting pens and it bled through really bad. But I knew I was going to do a blackout spread this week. So I basically need to turn from here directly to here. So this becomes an extra page that I can put in storage. And I just need to frank and plan these two pages together. So I'm going to grab um, my piece of contact paper to protect my desk. And I'm going to go all the way around the outside of this with some tape runner, even in between the punches, as always. Okay, and we're going to line up really carefully around the punches, just so there's not any drag when it tries to turn on the discs. Okay, there we go, pressing it down, all right, so there is my head of the class blackout spread, chalkboard feeling spread for the week of August 16th through the 22nd in my dashboard social media planner using the new lights planner action dot grid inserts. I hope you like this video. I hope it inspires you to go ahead and try doing your own blackout spreads. And the dot grid is just really so convenient. I'm so glad I went ahead and invested in it. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.